We have another performance for you. It's an L.A. band by way of Bulgaria here to perform some songs at 88.5. It's Khan Wakan. Take it away. good i'm surrounded by talented musicians here 88.5 live with con wakan let's go around the room here jessica on the vocals hi out of this world that was amazing thank you so much george over here on lead i think that's what you're playing there right yeah and then we've got brijesh over there playing the dish towels (laughs) that's great over there cooper on the bass up here bigger than cooper 
And Randall's on the wind over there, yes. And of course, it's Saigo, also sort of on the wind, right? I got some wind. It's Khan Wakan, everybody, from L.A. Let's talk origin stories here. Now, there's one, two, three, six of you. How do you all get in a room together and realize that this is what happens? <laughs> well, uh, it all started around 2012. Sorry, there's the camera. Oh, there's the mic. <laughs> <laughs> the idea was uh, initially for, for me to start, like, an instrumental project. Um, I'm a huge fan of film music, uh, so I wanted to, to get a group of musicians together and, and perform some compositions that I had written, and eventually uh, just decided to s try some of those out with vocals, and that's when um, it kind of shifted from instrumental to like a, more of a band format. And from then onwards, uh, I started to kind of experiment with involving different guests on vocals, and each record kind of has a, a rotating cast of characters narrating their own stories and we kind of collaborate on in the writing process and in live it's always kind of changing depending on on what we're doing so so you're a deck in you're 10 years into this project at this point right i, I guess so yeah wow i hadn't even thought about it and your new album let me see if i could pronounce it again because i said it off the air really phantasmagoria volume volume two nailed right? it right phantasmagoria volume two yeah. Awesome. How many albums do you have? Uh, three. Two of them are Phantasmagorias. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's going to be one more, and then I'm done. I quit. All right, well, kidding. how did you meet all these um, talented musicians? Did you meet them along well, the way, or did they? Definitely along the way. Cooper, I, I met him. He, I was living in this place in Silver Lake, and uh, he was my neighbor. <laughs> Just walked through. Did you hear the bass coming out of I heard the, the bass th coming out of this place, and I was like, I got to talk to Cooper. I got to meet this guy. And then uh, I think the first thing we did was a string session on the first record where I had gathered a bunch of players from USC and my uncle came out. He's a conductor. We recorded like a makeshift 12-piece orchestra and he was playing upright on that. Uh, and then on the record as well, played live bass. Um, Teen, a.k.a. Saigo. I've known him f almost f through the whole period, mm -hmm. I think. Everybody we, from L.A.? Um, everybody's from L.A., yeah. I'm Except from Maryland, from Maryland. But I spent enough time here oh, where oh, I feel okay. pretty comfortable. You can come Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I met uh, Randall more recently. And Jessica, a few years ago, we, we started to, to dabble in like recording stuff together. But this song that we just played was actually the first song we put, released together. Yeah. And it was written in um, 2020, in February, when everything seemed to be coming at us at once. Um, and we just had this idea and kind of felt like almost risking our lives getting together at that point to record this. It was this. crazy <laughs> out in the world with yeah. COVID and the protests and all of the unrest. It was a really powerful and sort of um, unstable time, but I think that's when you make some really great music. Does all that make its way into the songs? Everything that we've been going through the last couple of years? I feel like this record for sure kind of captures the essence of, of our c not only individual but, but collective experience, I'd say. Yeah. I'm down. Can I hear another song? Is that okay? I mean, you have all your instruments. If you say so. Already. <laughs> we so. might as well. What We're are you going to play now and like where did it come from? I can answer that. This one's called No Sweat Off My Back. Well, you're on this um, one, right? You're yeah, I'm going to sing the tune and... Uh, it's about algorithms, perhaps, Ooh. and how they help us, rule us, the uh, entertain us, and perhaps will replace us. <laughs> and just our relationship to that. I liked everything whole except the bag last one you said there. Yeah, you know, it might. <laughs> Trade off. You can't replace you guys. <laughs> you guys are pure talent. Let's hear another song from right. Khan Wakan, 88.5 Live, really live. Mm -hmm.
Well, that's Khan Wakan. Khan Wakan here. Khan Wakan, 88.5 Live, here in studio with amazingly talented musicians. Thank you for just letting me be here with you. That's Thanks for having us. Incredible. So, do you want to talk a little bit about where you found these two featured artists here and where they come from? Or maybe you guys want to tell us where. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, Teen, um, oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting <laughs> I need for this mic. Okay, here we are. Um, Teen, I met uh, through actually the guitarist who I worked with on the first record. His name is Peter, and they were um, pretty much best friends, right? Almost. Yeah, in college. In college Lots at of, USC. Uh, ph- philos- philosophical talks. A lot of bonding with like Wilco Records and yep. Jack Johnson, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I found out that Teen was an incredible songwriter and singer. And at the time, I think we didn't really know direction wise what we wanted to do. So we, it kind of took a while to dabble into some, some musical exchange of ideas until we found like our our groove, and then um, eventually Jessica over there. ended up on this record. Uh, Jessica, I think, I think I met, I met you at Hotel Cafe, if I'm not oh, mistaken. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. I, I, I saw that. her play there. Yeah. You see and, her performing, uh, or just I saw her out? performing. Oh, get I, out yeah. of town. 
I didn't know she was performing. I was there like in one, you know, I was there's a couple rooms and I heard this voice coming out of somewhere. I thought it was a record playing. I was like, what's going on here? And I walked by and she was just, the place was packed. Everyone, there was such amazing energy and I had to meet her. And then we just kept in touch and, you know, started Discovered making music. Discovered we were neighbors also. Yeah, yeah. Lived also around neighbors. the corner from each other. Everybody's a neighbor in SoCal. <laughs> yeah. And now we're, we're all, all moving to Bulgaria. Oh, yeah. are we? I hear the, uh, I hear <laughs> yeah. the weather is something else. It the is tomatoes something else. are something else. Yeah. The food is something oh, else. It's gorgeous. Guys. Highly recommend. Yeah, we've gone on a couple sojourns into Bulgaria to play in his home country. Sojourns. Yeah. Does that mean trip? Yeah. yeah, it was pleasant. Ah, was what I'm trying to say. It was a good say. time. Really nice tomatoes. tomatoes. I hear oh, they're yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can we go around the room here? I want to ask all you a quick question, okay? And there's no wrong answer, but we'll start with you, Jessica. Okay, great. What is your favorite thing about Southern California? Okay, favorite, most favorite is the weather, the no winter. I don't do the cold or the snow or the rain. I don't do weather that's not sun. I can get behind and that. And burritos. Mm-hmm. Okay. And burritos. <laughs> All right. What about you? Um, I think I would have to say just the uh, the, rich... the wind, right, Randall? You like the wind. No. I do like the wind. Uh, I love the weather. But um, I think my favorite thing is just the rich history of music in this city from Central Avenue all the way to... Uh, the the birth of West Coast hip hop to everything going on in the city right now. That's just, I I really uh, love the privilege that I was born and raised here and I can contribute to that legacy in any way that I can. Love that. Yeah, this is music capital now, isn't it? All right, what about you, Saigo? Um, Favorite part of SoCal? It would be a tie. If I could do them both at the same time, I would. It's uh, going to see live jazz in the city. It's really nice. Um, and I like skateboarding on the bike paths. Can you do like, that? Can yeah, you do that I just cruise. I don't do anything fancy. Just cruise and listen to music. But it's not every place in the world where you have these uninterrupted bike paths without, without a bunch of like, like houses right next to them and stuff. You're just cruising on the beach. It's I really nice. It. I wish I could do it. I fell once, and that was it for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. All One right, Brijesh, what is, besides banging the drums there, what's the best part about SoCal? Well, Jessica already said burritos, so I'll say quesadillas. She Everybody likes that burritos. Mexican food, man. Every band says something about tacos or burritos, I'm telling you. That's all we can afford. That. Cooper, <laughs> what do you think there, bass guy? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I, I think I might have to kind of, you know, go on what Randall is saying and just, just the people out here, man. The people, the scene, it's just a beautiful place to be. It's like the people really make this place special. All the musicians and all the just... People who love other people. It's really a special place. And now we're seeing people again. So that's great. That's great. Okay, what's the next like few months for you guys coming up? Do you have any plans? Are you going back to Bulgaria on a sojourner? I, I definitely am. True. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's, you know, involved in multiple projects. Everybody's got different plans, but uh we're definitely hoping to do some shows out in Europe in the summer. I think that's for sure gonna happen. It's just uh, a matter of how we're going to organize it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's exciting. Shows. And yeah. the album's out and everybody can listen to it right yeah. now. The album came out in November. It's if dope. anybody wants to check it out, it's all over the... It's got all these instruments recorded on and it. And more. And more. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I love the p- production of the whole thing. It's just like, whoa. Oh, you guys are thanks, talking man. about 4D or something with sound. And Atmos, I was like yeah. interested. The future, man. Okay, one more question for you guys, and there is no wrong or right answer. This is a question that I ask every band from the beginning of time until now, and we'll start with Bass Guy. All right. All right, Cooper, would you rather get into a battle to the death with one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? A battle to the death. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to go with the duck-sized horses. The little guys? The little guys, yeah. Why is that? You think you could take them? Um, I mean, I think I could run pretty fast. You know, that might give me an advantage. (laughs) He's got long legs if you can't see him right now. That's not a small... Go ahead. What would you pick there? Duck-sized horse? That's kind of a big, small horse, if you think about it. A duck-sized horse is like, like an RC car coming at you with teeth and... 
Absolutely Hoods. not. I'm shanking. We the need one to realize duck. you're going after the I'm solo the duck. One duck. Just like. <laughs> All right, Randall. What are you gonna do? What? <laughs> now I will remind you. There's a hundred of them. Yeah. There's a hun- There's a lot. Well, the, the thing about horses. Or, it one horse-sized horse duck, duck or one hundred duck-sized horses. Oh, okay. Go ahead, George. What would you pick? Oh, man, That's a, I think I go for the one. You go for the one. You try yeah. to slay the dragon. I run away. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Is the is the one duck fast like a horse? That's important. I think it acts just like a duck would act, but large. But it ducks fly, are slow. It can fly too, right? oh, ducks yeah. don't. What about do you, Prajesh? What are you doing? What are you going with? Well, I would go for the, no. the horse-sized Vic, duck. A little bit. Because, you go for the horse-sized duck. Yeah, if we're talking like a hundred <laughs> smaller horses, first of all, that's you know we all know that like strength in numbers is the easiest way to overtake somebody. Mm. I just feel like I'd have a better chance with like a big kind of uh, lumbering. Yeah creature than a bunch of little agile stab animals. one of the webbed feet yeah. the rhythm section always knows you know did i get it did everybody answer did i get you i don't think you i did know. not yeah oh, well i'm still thinking no i think uh let's just all jump in a big pool together and splash around with some <laughs> bubble bath that's the best answer that's the one uh, right little there. ducks that's little horses answer. big yeah. small i think a horse-sized duck also is more easily tameable yeah you're gonna try to like bu- like Try to be its friend. That's what I would do. All right. Well, best of luck to all of you. I hope it never happens. But in case it does, now we know we have a plan. what we're in for. Khan Wakan, thanks for being here live on the internet and everywhere you see and hear things. 885fm.org is where you can click it. You got one more song, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. This one's called Room to Grow. Room to Grow. And, thanks. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Tell me about yeah, it. Uh, uh, this one, it's kind of fun because on the record, it's more electronic, right? And we, we tried playing it uh, with the band and kind of discovered that it was really fun with, with uh, live drums and everything. So this is like a different version than what's on the record. Oh, remix. Yeah. Live remix. Khan Wakan here. Thanks for watching, everybody.
88.5 FM, KCSN, and KCSN HD1, Northridge, Los Angeles. KSBR and KSBR HD1, Mission Viejo. A service of California State University, Northridge, and Saddleback College. Member-supported public radio. Streaming on the web at 88.5 FM.org.